So there was a question on the community about uh, moving the issue from uh, one issue type to another issue type and uh, when the issue is moved from one issue type to another issue type uh, the person who is asking this question is also trying to understand and uh, ask how can we access the uh, changed issue type name using the smart value so this is a question where uh, you can see that uh, uh, Minu Murli is asking about update issue type in summary after moving an issue. Hi team, we have an automation to update the issue type in summary once an issue is created and it works well. The problem is when we move the issue to another issue type. For example, when a ticket was created as a service request, then summary is automatically appended with service request, but it was later converted as incident. In this case, we want to rename the issue type from service request to incident. So basically, uh, there are two things. Number one, how to access the change uh, issue type name and also how to update the summary. So I'll not talk about updating the summary, which I guess you already know because you have been doing it, but I'll tell you how to access the changed issue type. And for doing that, I of course have this rule that I just uh, configured. Now, if you look at this rule, the trigger is basically this uh, field value changed. And I'm monitoring this field, which is uh, of, uh, which is basically the issue type field, uh, field history monitor. And leave the for, uh, I mean, you can restrict this to maybe create issue, edit issue, but I'll just leave it as all issue operations. It is not, honestly, it is not really uh, very, very clear that uh, when you move the issue, uh, there, there, there are, there, there could be like things like moving an issue as well. But if even if you leave it as, uh, leave it as all issue operations, it will work because then it will ch look for the field, uh, issue type field. And uh, if it is changed due to move, it will uh, register it. And uh, for uh, testing, and by the way, when you are doing this, if you look at uh, this uh, help description, it says uh, you can access the changed value using the using this using a smart value called field change. And uh, if you want to access, let us say, the previous value, you can use field change dot from string. Similarly, field change dot to string. So for this example, what I'm doing, I am uh, adding a comment along with a log. So from field change dot from string, sorry, yep, from, and also to field change dot to string. And for testing this, I will, uh, of course, go to my issue, my issue uh, within my project. And if I run this, or not run this, so basically I, I need to move it. So right now the issue type is, uh, I guess, story. And uh, if we move it to, or change it to maybe task, and click on the next button, we're, we're not really changing the project. And, uh, do it one more time okay confirm so if you go back to the rule oh it says some some errors okay let us see let us see the errors so it says error rendering smart values when executing this uh, rule improperly closed variable okay uh, okay so there is a problem in problem in the in the rule uh, so basically i i was missing one curly braces which i will fix and uh, I will then go back. I'll change the issue type uh, by moving the issue one more time. And I do have one more thing to talk about. Uh, why are you moving it? So l let us also talk about this. So click on the next. And I mean, moving can is fine, but why do you need to update the summary? Let us talk about it in a second. Confirm. Okay, so we are now using uh, the issue type, which is task or bug, I guess. L let us check. Uh, uh, did I publish the, uh, <laughs> I think I did one more mistake. I didn't publish the rule. It can happen. You have to be careful. Okay. Let us go back. Okay. Let me take a look at the audit log. Yeah. So I need to modify this. One more time, okay. Save. Apologies for making mistakes. Ah, okay. So, I am trying to do something which I didn't want to. 
So I'll remove that component, publish, edit issue fields. I don't want to edit the issue fields. Okay, save. Okay, now it is fine. I think I was clicking uh, a lot. So maybe I, I, I clicked on one, one additional component, which I didn't want to. So let us go back to the issue and monitor the audit log. And uh, let us also change the issue type one more time. Hopefully it will work. I know it works because it worked earlier. I'm just trying to show you. So let us move it to Epic. Why not? Next. And uh, I need to specify, I guess, Epic name. Okay, whatever. Ne next. And uh, confirm. Let us go to the automation rule. Click, click on the refresh. And now it says success. And uh, uh, it says log bug and epic. Okay, good. And uh, let us see if in the comment we are able to access the uh, the issue type name. If I refresh the issue and if I wait for it, yep. So it says from bug to epic. So now you can uh, now you know how to access the issue type name when it is changed or when the issue is moved. Now the thing that I wanted to talk about is basically uh, about appending your issue type name in the summary. I don't think it is required. I can understand that you maybe you're doing it for, I, I, I don't know, maybe you want to, your, uh, someone is looking at your issues, maybe they, they want to, maybe you want them to understand or let them know about the issue type uh, or the, the, the type of the issue when they're looking at the summary. But uh, you, all, you always have the issue type uh, field in Jira, which has this information. You can report on it. So I'm not really sure if uh, appending the issue type to the summary is uh, is uh, a great... I mean, I, 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 I'm sure you have a reason for doing it, but think about it, because I don't think you need to. So uh, I thought I'll share my views. And that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.